Let's draw the structure for 2-methyl pentanol. This AL here means that this is an aldehyde. An aldehyde has a functional group of CHO. Now when we draw this, we get carbon double bonding with oxygen and it has a single bond with the hydrogen. This pent here means that this has five carbons in the longest carbon chain. A trick to draw this is that you always count till one less than the number of carbons you want to draw. So one, two, three, four. Now let's number these carbons. So the carbon in the functional group is always the first carbon. The second carbon, the third carbon, the fourth carbon, and the fifth carbon. Now there is a methyl attached on the second carbon right here. So let's get rid of these numbers and let's attach the methyl on the second carbon. So this is the structure for 2-methyl pentanol. Let's draw the structure for 3-ethyl hexanol. This AL here means that this is an aldehyde. An aldehyde has a functional group of CHO. We have carbon having a double bond with oxygen and a single bond with hydrogen. This hex here means that it has six carbons in the longest carbon chain. A trick to draw this is that you always count till one less than the number of carbons you want to draw. So one, two, three, four, five. Let's number these carbons. Remember that the carbon in the functional group is always the first carbon. Second carbon, third carbon, fourth carbon, fifth carbon, and the sixth carbon. Now there is an ethyl here. This means that there are two carbons in the side chain. And the ethyl is attached on the third carbon right here. So let's get rid of these numbers and let's attach the ethyl on the third carbon. So this is the structure for 3-ethyl hexanol. Let's draw the structure for 3,3-dimethyl butanol. This AL here means that this is an aldehyde. An aldehyde has a functional group of CHO. Now the carbon is having a double bond with the oxygen and a single bond with the hydrogen. This but here means that there are four carbons in the longest carbon chain. And a trick to draw this is that you always count till one less than the number of carbons you want to draw. So one, two, three. Let's number these carbons. The carbon in the functional group is always the first carbon. Second carbon, third carbon, and the fourth carbon. Now, this dimethyl here means that there are two methyl groups attached to this aldehyde, both of them on the third carbon, right here. Let's get rid of these numbers and let's attach the two methyl groups on the third carbon. So this is the structure for 3,3-dimethyl butanol. Let's draw the structure for 2,2-dibromopentanol. This AL here means that this is an aldehyde. An aldehyde has a functional group of CHO. The carbon here has a double bond with the oxygen and a single bond with the hydrogen. This pent here means that there are five carbons in the longest carbon chain. A trick to draw this is that you always count till one less than the number of carbons you want to draw. So one, two, three, four. 
Let's number these carbons. Remember, the carbon in the functional group is always the first carbon, the second carbon, the third carbon, the fourth carbon, and the fifth carbon. Now, this dibromo here means that there are two bromines attached to this aldehyde. Both of them are attached on the second carbon right here. Let's get rid of these numbers here and let's attach the bromines on the second carbon. So this is the structure for 2,2-dibromofentanyl. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit subscribe.